My name is T. Patrick Murray, and I'm an award-winning filmmaker. I made a documentary called The Last Game, which was called, quote, possibly the best sports film ever made by the Los Angeles Times, four out of four stars from USA Today, the best documentary I ever saw from Anna Cool News, and the most exciting movie I've ever seen by my local paper, the Philadelphia Inquirer. I say none of this to, to brag, but to establish credibility. I grew up with M. Night Shyamalan, we went to the same high school. He's had a little bit more success than me than, you know, but that's cool. We're artists and, uh, you know, Van Gogh never sold a painting, so who knows, time will tell. Points this, I am making a film that is uh, very interesting. It's called um, Chasing J.P. Morgan. And uh, what is it about? Well, it's about fraud closure, as they call it, foreclosure that is not legal. It's about uh, the economic situation and the legal situation and the social situation involving J.P. Morgan Chase, who is the person that's foreclosing on me for the third time after I've beaten them in court. Um, actually, I beat them in the lawsuit. They dismissed it right before on the trial because I had the evidence that they were not, in fact, the holders in due course. In other words, they had no right to sue or foreclose on me. Why did they have no right to foreclose on me? What does all this mean? How can this help you? Even if you pay your mortgage and you have no problems with your mortgage, if I told you that it was illegal things that they were doing, the interest they were charging you, that your 6% rate is really 580% the first year. That's 107 the fifth year. It doesn't get to 6% until the 30th year. If I told you that and explained that to you and showed it to you and showed you how all that's fraudulent and illegal, if it's premeditated and known, and if I told you that you could probably get your house for free or get trouble damages or get some relief because this isn't being opportunistic or un-American, this is actually redressing a wrong. Um, just like the LIBOR scandal indicates, which is a manipulation of the base interest rate, the London Interbank uh, exchange rate, uh, which is, you know, the hallmark, which is like the prime rate of the world. The point is, is that if that's manipulated, then the idea of the manipulation of amortization tables, which dictates the dynamic relationship between equity or ownership or principal, that's repaid in a loan payment, a fixed loan payment, and the amount that is for interest. And the way that that's set up is taken for granted and thought of as being normal, when in fact it's called front-loading, and it's a way of monetizing the debt quicker, and it's also that the foundation of the entire scandal known as the derivative scandal, which almost imploded our economy in 2008, which involved the bundling of all of these, um, not mortgages actually, notes, which are the debts, to buy the homes, and bundled them together and sold them as trusts or basically CBO MBS trusts. They became just another type of thing, like a bond, a stock. Well, this was a derivative type of instrument. People made trillions of dollars. It was great. Um, in fact, there was only one problem with the whole idea. Well, if something happened that had never happened in history, they'd be fucked and, and, and the things would be underwater and they'd be out of the money. What's that thing? Um, it's if real estate ever went down. And in 2008, as you may remember, real estate went down and it continues to go down. So as a result, um, we almost, you know, collapsed as an economy in 2008, but, you know, AIG bailed uh, you know, out the, um, the, the, the certificate holders and et cetera, et cetera. We've had QE1, QE2, you know, we're just printing money. We're in a fiat Ponzi economy. This whole thing will collapse and be replaced by a new system. That's not really the focus, though. What the focus is, is my experience fighting a foreclosure with uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, number one. Number two, my countersuit for fraud, for RICO, uh, the Third Circuit federal class action suit I'm going to put in that's going to seek billions of damages for anyone that's ever had a mortgage ever from any of the major banks. This isn't just Chase. Uh, that is uh, uh, going to be for like the big six banks, and it's basically going to, if you had if you had any mortgage at all, you should be part of this. And why? Well, watch the movie when it comes out or check out my website. That's the, the, the meat of it. So after you watch the movie, you'll be entertained because you'll see my story. And it's a funny story. My daddy's done an NFL team. We've been rich. We've been poor. We're normal people because we've had those experiences. But number two, uh, I think it'll be a very valuable thing because you'll be able to, as a human being, uh, be aware of the truth of what how banking really works and money how money works. But more importantly, if you know anyone that's in a jam and is facing foreclosure, if you know someone that's lost their home to foreclosure, they, there will be, wrapped in all the fun, entertaining things about this doc, there's going to be a lot of information that's going to help you. So I see no reason why 
if you're interested in social issues, if you're interested in keeping your home, if you're interested in getting money because you've been injured and damaged by these actions of the bank that I allege. And of course, that's my allegation. I have to prove it in court or uh, I also have to prove it in terms of my film. Well, the point is, if I'm right about any of these things, it could help a lot of people. And uh, I know I'm saying here right now, it's uh, August of 2012 and uh, they just sued me again for foreclosure and I'm fighting back, I'm fighting back hard. And I think that I'm gonna win and prevail. I could be wrong, they could win. Uh, that's going to be part of the fascinating storyline. It's happening as we speak. So please check it out, I'll update constantly. And uh, we also, are, I'm on Indiegogo. Uh, even though I don't wanna sell this film, I'm gonna give it out for free. I'm trying to raise a little money for it, but if you can't give money through Indiegogo, just um, support by spreading the word, however you can, okay? Chasing J.P. Morgan by T. Patrick Murray. Check out thelastgame.com. That's a, a work I did that gives you an example of, of the quality.